All right, back again, look here. And as you can see, we are in a supermarket. Yay! And I figured we could do one of these videos here, since I haven't done one yet. We could go around and take a look at some of the food prices here and how expensive they are. So, here we have some tomatoes. Three tomatoes for four bucks. Yeesh. Uh, the food in Japan is quite expensive, especially the produce. And, uh, I don't know. Figured we could take a look at it so you guys could see just exactly how expensive it is. It's a dollar per cucumber. <laughs> Things are generally also sold in threes in Japan. It's just the uh, the idea that like things that are easily divided mean um, bad things to come. You know, that's uh, in weddings and things. Um, they'll give like 30,000 yen because it can't be equally divided, although it could, you know, like 15,000, 15,000, but they'll give them like three 10,000 yen notes. So it means that they'll stay together. So in Japan, you'll find normally things will have a very odd number of um, items packed in with it. So it'll either be like five or three or seven. It won't be a normal number. As you can see here, here's mushrooms in packs of threes as well. Just something that's interesting that you don't, you know, hear a whole lot of stuff about. Here's uh, mushrooms down here in packs of five. So five and seven. Moving on to carrots in packs of three. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can see the, the pattern here. It's quite uh, quite obvious. I'm in the process of trying to think of some stuff for dinner tonight and not knowing exactly what I'm gonna make. I think I might make something kinda easy. It's because the last few nights I've been making some pretty mad food dishes and yeah, take a break for once. Seafood, seafood dude. <laughs> so, you can see some of the seafood in here. See him in the back there. Just cutting the fish. It's interesting though, the crab this year seemed to be very small and I guess that's, that's pretty reasonable, I suppose. But it's not very, not very much meat. It's like a 10 bucks for crab, that's pretty good. They're very small as far as the meat goes. Ooh, we got the squids over here if you guys like this. Yeah. Uh, was it 10,000 Leagues Under the Sea? For those of you who were uh, around during that time to watch that movie. <laughs> I don't think any of us were. Maybe. But uh, if you've seen it before. We got the salmon around here. Oh, those are some nice slabs. That's good, that's salmon. Or not salmon, that's tuna. Ooh, that looks really good. I think I might get that. Those are some thick pieces of tuna. These taste awesome with a little bit of like butter or basil. Look at that. That's a thick piece of salmon. Put that on there. Feel free to add in your own jokes. <laughs> Luke's talking about big, thick salmon inside a supermarket. The world's coming to an end. We got people around here. Luckily, I have the music for Kumamoto coming around here because they have a Kumamoto fair. Kumamoto's a part in Japan. It's known for different uh, you know, seafoods and things, so they have their fair going on in this store. But uh, yeah, what else do we got? Some of these things I can't even eat. I can't bring myself to eat. Um, really depends on what it is what we got we have some oysters down here and what else do we have some clams just gotta move along here this is one thing that I just cannot bring myself to eat. These are the uh, fish eggs. People just eat these, um, you know, just the way they are. They're the fish eggs still in the, uh, the pouch. You know, they just gut the fish and pull out the fish eggs and yeah, they're inside the pouch still and people just munch on them. It's hard for me to, uh, to eat that. <laughs> this is another one that's hard. Shirasu. These are the little white fishies. 
and those things just go on top of uh, salads and whatever. I can't bring myself to eat these guys either. But yeah. So there are some interesting foods around here though. We also have our, uh, our ramen section, which uh, ramen soba and chibi marikochan. <laughs> But usually lots of variety of different ramen, um, gyoza, or the pot stickers, and spring rolls. Those spring rolls are actually pretty good. I like this. Today, should I get some gyoza too? It's actually good. I know some people are thinking now, Luke, do a cooking show, cooking with Luke. I promise it would be dull. I wouldn't be able to do all that like, for this part here, you want to add one cup of water, three parts of salt, and a pinch of pepper. <laughs> you just kind of... Ooh, Nikuman. So these are the ones you usually find at the convenience store and things like that. Um, they are just kind of like dough with meat in the middle. They're kind of like a bread. Um, it's found in a lot of, uh, you know, Chinese restaurants and things like that. They're actually pretty good. This one is Pizamon and Nikuman. Three and three for five bucks. Hmm. Maybe I'll pass. Now I got the Kumamoto song in my head. Come on, come on. <laughs> got different kinds of uh, fish here that are smothered in, for example, like miso sauce or some kind of uh, salt. Those ones are going for like four bucks each. Fish seems to be the cheapest of the you know, of the different kind of foods that you can get I mean obviously since Japan is surrounded by water and it depends on which which fish you know. awesome. but then we go up to the meat section where we have lots of the Japanese famous marble beef and the reason why it's called marble uh, beef is because if you look at the pattern to it, it kind of looks like marble. Now, the way this is designed is uh, it's, you know, it's fatty, very fatty, but when you cook it uh, and you eat it, it tastes like, it almost melts in your mouth. Here's a really good example of a slab of marbled beef. Like all of the fat that's in the middle there just uh, melts. And when you bite into it, it's pretty, Amazing, it tastes really, really good. You know, hence the fact that a slab of this here at how much is that? 198 grams runs 2,300, so like 2,500 yen, 25 bucks. Which you know, it's not too bad, but you know, half of it's gonna melt <laughs> when you put it in the, uh, the frying pan. They have some really good stuff here, though. It's very different. Got uh, different pork products going down here. Pork, 500 yen, 580 yen for 250 grams. Most of the stuff I generally, I probably don't look at, but I eat a lot. So, you know, 250 grams, I can pound that down like nothing. Just, it's almost like a snack. So, but yeah, I don't know, I just want to show you guys some stuff going on around here some of the people some of the foods cheeses are really expensive in japan uh if you take a look at this this is a really small piece 100 grams of colby jack costs you three and a half bucks and uh you know there there's a really good variety of stuff but yeah you'll find like six bucks here for some chewy mozzarella like that. We've got our Philadelphia cream cheese, which is good. It only comes in things at 200 grams. It used to come in like 500 gram things, but I was just down to 200 or so, or the squares, which is so costs you about three bucks. You can generally expect to pay around, I don't know, $50 or so when you go shopping in Japan just for, you know, a couple of people uh, for maybe one meal. It might last you a couple days, but it depends. One thing we have to do is we have to get ourselves some trusty alcohol for the evening. I need to get some ketchup too. I totally walked past that. 
あすみませんあの、はい、ケチャップはどこにありますかあ,、はい、あすみませんはいあはい、はい、ありがとうございます。Can remember where the ketchup was? We have let's see some Heinz ketchup. Just go with some cheaper stuff. It's like a 148. I should do the trick. Ketchup mixed with mayonnaise, mixed with a pinch of garlic and some salt,、um, is a really nice sauce for、uh, fried shrimp. So that's what I usually make. I just didn't have any ketchup. So, oh yeah, back to the alcohol. This is like one of those racing videos. <laughs> Suntory highball, yay! Man, I love this stuff. Let's grab one of each and let's see what else can we get. Grab me some Sapporo, I love this stuff. But, uh, yeah, not too bad as far as prices on here goes, I suppose. Usually grab an Ebisu from time to time, which over here we have some Budweiser. Which tastes a bit different from the Budweiser、uh, in the US. Even though Budweiser isn't technically an American company, I suppose, you know, but yeah. Anyway, there's the,、uh, the Guinness and the other beer, the Heineken's. So, but yeah, I think we'll end this here. Just thought we could do a bit of some shopping around in a supermarket. One more kind of Japanese cultural video here I can add to the list. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. In front of you, you can see some Japanese Nihonshu and、uh, Shochu, which is like the rice wine, etc. Some really good stuff. It's got some. I usually. Find that the stuff that becomes harder and harder to read becomes more and more expensive. So, the stuff that's easier to read is the cheaper stuff. So, Oh, one more thing I thought I'd show you guys here, which is kind of funny. Let's see. Potato chips, Doritos, these are manufactured in Australia. And they say export on them. These are 160 grams, which is really cheap. And they go for about $4 a bag. Sell for 160 grams. Really, really, yeah, expensive for that stuff. But. Yay! Anyway, time to go home, do some cooking later on. Well, do some gaming, then maybe do some cooking. But yeah, thanks again for sticking around this long, and we'll put up another video here soon. That's what happens. You start singing the song. You're like, no!